हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड टू टुडे साइंस क्लास आई एम रोहन सर फ्रॉम मेहंदी इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल वंस अगेन आई वेलकम यू टू टुडे साइंस क्लास एंड स्टूडेंट्स एज यू ऑल नो दैट इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर यू सॉल्व द इंटरेस्टिंग वर्कशीट विद ऑप्शन विदाउट ऑप्शन यूजिंग योर नॉलेज ई and the most important thing in that worksheet was even after revising the chapter 3 times many of you were unaware about few questions many of you were not knowing few questions which you got to know in the previous lecture so i hope that you enjoyed the worksheet as along with the questions you even had the liberty to shout out the answers at your home as you do in the school also you got the answer on the spot so that means this was like a game for you i hope that it was a game for you and yes so for that purpose as i got to know i got the feedbacks from lot a uh, whole lot of the students and parents that you enjoyed the lecture i have brought one more lecture of worksheet as i promised in the previous lecture and i keep my promises always So in this lecture too I have brought an interesting worksheet for you. Yes. Now let's see what is the content and what are we going to do today. So basically solving of revision worksheet as we did in the previous lecture. But in the previous lecture we only did the worksheet of lesson number 1. Here we are also going to move on after completing lesson 1 worksheet the remaining ones we will jump on to lesson number 2 and i hope that you are having your textbooks along with you even if you don't have not to worry one more time i am repeating the instruction that you don't have to write anything you just need to pay attention you just need to watch the lecture and shout the answers freely if you know the answers only then will you be able to enjoy the lecture so my dear students get ready to get into the worksheet lecture let's get started lesson number 1 multiple choice questions first multiple choice question is here you have been given the options with the pictures isn't it interesting yes it is very interesting i know for you I have kept the blurred picture for you so that you can just keep on imagining the answers but the options are very much clear though it is not written but it is very much clear so the question is let me read it for you first of all the question is i lay the x who am i now you know this this is very much simple have you seen bear laying the x no i have never seen the bear laying the eggs then the cats cats give the birth to young ones or to the eggs you should have this knowledge that cat gives the birth to young ones cats does not lay the eggs so the remaining is option c option c is hen correct so the correct answer is option c hen lays the egg and not the cat neither the cat nor the bear so it's very simple moving on to the second question now the question is my dear students this animal eats both plants and flesh of animals you need to look into the picture you need to try to understand the question question is one more time i should repeat it for you i feel like this animal eats both plants and the flesh of animals which is this animal is it giraffe no i haven't seen giraffe eating flesh of other animals giraffe is not omnivore so basically here the question is related to the omnivore animal you need to understand which animal out of these three options is an omnivore which is an omnivore my dear students giraffe no deer 
Mm, let me think. No, it is not also the omnivore. Then bear is an omnivore. Like I said in the previous lecture as well. If you see in the textbook, you can find giraffe. As you can find giraffe and deer eating grasses and plants. But you can find bear on the first or the second page of your textbook eating fish. So the correct answer is answer C beer okay so this way you can solve easily now the third question in front of you animals need food for desk now students you need to shout the answers if you know at your home animals need food for what for sleeping no yeah that is another thing if you eat the food you feel drowsy you feel dizzy you feel sleepy but that is not exactly what we need the food for what animals need the food for then what will be the correct option for running no yeah again that is another thing if you eat food you feel healthy you will be able to run if you don't eat food you will die of starvation so but here the animals need food for what for growth correct so the correct answer is option a growth okay students now repeat the sentence after me you have to repeat it loudly louder enough to your voice should penetrate the walls and reach to the neighbor's house animals need food for growth repeat one more time animals need food for growth clear enough moving on to the next fb next mcq dash animal choose the curd curd i explained you children when the animals the curd means they first they just gobble up the food then they again bring it back to their uh, from their you know throat and then they again chew it and then di they digest it this is what the curd is correct so do you think that that the zebra does this no zebra i have seen zebra chewing the food at the same time when they eat it up monkeys no don't tell me that a monkey is chew curd then the answer should be cow let's check our answer yes the correct answer is cow excellent so the students who were shouting at home cow cow yes students you are ex absolutely right so ask your mom to give you one chocolate because you have given correct answer to sir okay moving on to the next mcq let me read the question for you this one is very interesting which of the following animals swallow their whole food this is what even you have gone through in the previous lectures uh, students don't tell me that you don't know you should be knowing this answer which of the animals swallow their whole food by swallowing i i explained you what what is the meaning of swallow by swallowing it means not to chew the food using the teeth but to just gobble it up just to throw it inside your stomach it is like that same as like that so butterfly does it no it is such a small insect how will it do that deer no again i have seen deer chewing the food snakes yes i have never seen snakes chewing the food rather i have seen them yes swallowing the food so exactly it should be snake what according to you students should be the correct answer just shout loudly okay let's see let's check the correct answer the correct answer is snake yes i am right students if you are also right i appreciate you so the correct answer is snakes correct so students repeat after me now snakes swallow their whole food i want you to repeat it one more time snakes swallow their whole food clear enough moving on to the sixth one to the next one see basically these mcqs are not in a line so don't count the numbers you can just yeah you can just count how many mcqs are exactly okay so let me read the next question i have a long neck i use my neck to reach and break off leaves which animal am i now can you see the pictures yes exactly i can see pictures very clearly this is one hand one uh, horn rhino 
Yeah, this is um, giraffe and elephant. So, which is the correct option according to you, my dear students? What do you think? Read the question again and again if you don't understand. See, I have a long neck. I use my neck to reach and break off leaves. Now, does this animal have a long neck? No. Look at them. They have the heavy body, but they don't have the long neck. Do elephants have long neck? No, they have long trunk. Yes, certainly they have the long trunk. But here, the question asks you about the long neck. So here in this picture, B, option B, you can see the picture. Giraffe having the long neck and trying to reach to the leaves and breaking the leaves from the trees. So according to me, students, answer should be B. I hope that you have also um, kept in your mind certain answers. Let's see which is the correct answer here. Correct answer is answer B and I was right. So giraffe are having the long neck and they reach up to the leaves and break off the leaves to eat it. Even the fruits sometimes. Moving on. Seventh one. Dash have a long thin tube to suck food into their mouth. Do you think the fish does it? No, the fish doesn't uh, uh, you know, have the long thin tube. Do you think the bird have? No, they don't have the long thin tube. The remaining option is B. So let's see which is the correct answer. Yes, B, W, B and answer is also B. How interesting is it? Moving on. The next question is, let me read it for you first of all. Dash use their tongue to lap up milk. Means to drink the milk with the, using the tongue. Uh, we directly drink it using our mouth, but let us see which is the correct combination. Here the combination of two animals are given for each option. So, option A is the combination of cat and monkey. Um, I have seen cat using the tongue for drinking the milk and water and every liquid item. But I have never seen monkey doing it. Mm, so this is not the correct option. Okay. Moving on to the next option is dog and monkey. Again monkey is not the correct because we have already verified it in the first option. So no need to again think of monkey. But dog yes I have seen dog. But this is not the correct combination if you see. Moving on. Hopefully we will get next. Now in option C, cat and dog both. Yes, they both use the tongue to lap up the milk. So option C indeed should be the correct option. Let us check our answer. Yes, our answer is right my dear students. Cat and dog. Now repeat after me my dear students. Cat and dog use their tongue to lap up milk. One more time. Cat and dog use their tongue to lap up milk. Now moving on to the next MCQ. Next MCQ is which of the following animal is or are domestic animals? You need to understand which of these are the domestic animal so my dear students you need to understand the meaning of domestic to give the perfect answer for this question isn't it so so let us first understand what is domestic animals domestic animals means the animals which are useful for the household or the farm work or which are kept by the humans and are fed by the humans these are the domestic yes so cow yes it gives us the milk and is used in the farm as well yes there are the many use for the animal cow what about the goat yes goat is even used to for the you know uh, various household items and various things so i think according to me both are domestic let's see option c yes c option option c also uh, says the same thing both so both A and B should be the correct answer. So according to me, C option is correct. 
so let's see which is the correct answer if you can see here is the correct answer option C is absolutely right means cow and goat both are the domestic animals moving on to lesson number two fill in the blanks so first we are going to solve fill in the blanks of lesson number two and understand it okay the question is here do not play with now question uh, if you see lesson number two is all about keeping safe correct keeping safe at every place on the roads at house at school etc wherever you go wherever you travel keeping safe is the name of the lesson so here the questions will be related to that only so you have to think on that track accordingly so question one is do not play with dash you will say sir there are plenty of things we should not play with not to worry i'm going to give you the options here so here are the options fire or road do not play with road no that is not the correct option if you say do not play on the roads that is another thing sir isn't it so so do not play with fire should be correct according to me what according to you should be the correct my dear students i hope you are shouting the answers at home okay great stuff so the correct answer is fire we should not play with fire at home so repeat after me my dear students do not play with fire repeat one more time do not play with fire correct so you should not play with fire you may uh, cause serious injury to the fellow people or to you too so it is your duty to stay away from the fire when mom or dad or any any elder are there in the kitchen only then you should go and you know touch the things which is near to the you know gas line or the gas cylinder unless any elder is not there uh, with you you should not you know bother those things moving on to the second number do not go alone for a desk now again you will wonder sir give me the options okay here are the options with you here the options are medicine or swim so do not go alone for a medicine how can we go for a medicine we can go to the medical shops but we cannot go alone for medicine so swim should be correct i suppose so what according to you i hope that you have thought of the answers my dear students only then you will get interest so just think about one answer and let's wait for the correct answer according to me it should be swim so let's check our answer yes the correct answer is swim you should not go for a swim alone so some of you might be having the hobby of swimming that is good that is a physical exercise that is a sport also you get the cardio exercise you get the every part of exercise in swimming correct you can maintain your physical health so swimming is good but at this age up till you are in standard 9th or 8th you should not go alone for swimming you should get any elderly per person with you moving on to the third one do not play on the desk now here the question is do not play on the desk now there are many places you should not play on the terrace you should not, not play on the fire you should not play um, on the roads sir what will be the option let me bring the option for you here are two options do not play on the desk now obviously when i when we say do not play on fire that is not possible also even if we think for doing that how can you play on the fire when you should not go even near the fire you cannot play on the fire so that will not be the convenient option for this so what is the remaining option road obviously do not play on the road is according to me is correct let let us wait for the answer so the correct answer is do not play on the road exactly why should you uh, why shouldn't you play on the roads see first of all there are many places where you can play the playgrounds the gardens the playground in your school and the sports club many places are there where where you can go and play in your compound also you can play 
but within the border of your house not outside on the roads correct so on the road what how it does harm you if you play on the road vehicles are going on sometimes you will meet an accident sometimes you cause the harm to other people also so road is not the convenient place to play there so in short road is not the convenient option to play there there are many vehicles and many things going on there on the roads it is a busy area uh, in the city so in these busy roads you can't play not even on the empty roads because you never know which vehicle is coming from the which side and what accident you are going to meet so avoid playing on the roads so here the correct option is road so students i want you to repeat this sentence particularly after me because you have the habit of playing on the roads so repeat after me do not play on the road repeat second time so that you will remember this do not play on the road okay so road is the correct option here moving on to the next fb let me read the question for you first of all do not touch dash wires now do not touch dash wires wet wires open wires yeah um uh, remote control wires playing wires electric wires which wire so here are the options for you the two options here are electric and moving now wire does not move on its own unless you move it or there is a you know air the force of air is there so what do you think according to you is the correct option my dear students electric or moving now come on moving wire we can never imagine it 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 will fit here so obviously electric should be the correct option you should not touch the electric wires let us check the answer the answer is yes electric so you should not touch electric wires why it's as simple as that if you touch the electric wire sometimes it happens like you are in a contact you your hands are wet correct so again you will uh, get a good shock from the electric wire so it will harm your body your veins and your skin sometimes it is a possibility to get the big injury during uh, due to that because electric wires that the current is running at a high flow you know how many voltage is um, how many voltage of current is running inside within the wire and sometimes it happens that though you are uh, you know you are your hands are dry so you try to fix the wire on on your own so don't do that because sometimes the current the wire sometimes there is a leakage in the wire so you never know where you are touching and from where can you get the current uh, the shock from so never try to do that you should consult the you know the repairing man repairing person you should not try everything on your own because that may cause serious serious injury to your body so i need i want you to repeat this sentence along with me do not touch electric wires my dear students repeat it once more do not touch electric wires moving on to the next question is do not take dash on your own do not take bath on your own no you should take bath on your own so what is the option okay here are the options for you do not take spoon on your own or do not take medicine on your own sir what is the correct option that is what you need to think do not take spoon on your own spoon is it so no you should take your plate you should take your food you should serve your food and you should take everything for eating and drinking on your own you should not bother your mother or grandmother for that purpose so spoon will not be the correct option at in fact you should take the spoon on your own and you should serve everyone else so spoon certainly should not be the correct option so what is the remaining option obviously medicine so do not take medicine on your own should be the correct option let us check the answer and then i'll explain you why is it correct yes as you can see in front of your screen answer is medicine so the sentence will be as do not take medicine on your own why 
now either you should consult doctor or you should consult to any person medical related person who have the knowledge of medicines if you try to take consume medicine on your own you will say okay i have the headache mom used to give me this medicine okay we'll take this colored medicine pink color medicine for suppose but sometimes the medicines are of expiry date you need to check that expiry date they might have expired yes medicines have the expiry date for your knowledge let me tell you and if the medicines are expired and if you consume that medicines you will seriously uh, you know you will put yourself into the different problems you consume medicine to pull yourself out of the problem out of the you know health issues but you may harm and put yourself in the other physical issues if you consume the medicines which are of expiry date so always before you consume the medicine either if it is big issue you should ask to doctor you should consult the doctor though they take the fees from you you should consult them uh, you know it is better precaution is better than cure if you if you think about that the doctor will take the fees it is uh, better to search on the net and to consume medicine then you may have to gi give the more fees if you make yourself in a trouble if you land yourself in a trouble so do not take medicine on your own is the correct option here moving on to sixth one the question is do not jump on the dashed side of the swimming pool now what do you think should be the correct answer do not jump on the dashed side of the swimming pool let me give you the options deep or corner these two are the options here okay so let us understand the option first of all deep corner corner means the part at the edge of the swimming pool the part one of the edges we can say that is the corner part what about deep deep means very inside of you know there are the steps also in the swimming pool there are somewhere the levels are there in swimming pool where you can just uh, get into the pool and you have the different levels because the one who is well trained they go into the deep part into uh, very inside deep inside the pool so here are the options you should first match it do not jump on the deep side of the swimming pool or do not jump on the corner side of the swimming pool here corner part does not matches let me explain you why corner part it's okay you will get to hold the you know the edges and you will not uh, drown into the water but deep part if you jump and if you are not well trained you never know again what incident you will uh, what uh, problem you will land into so according to me deep should be the correct answer and yes exactly the correct answer is deep moving on to the next question do not board a dashed bus to board means to climb into to get into you board into the ship so you get into the ship so here the word board board means to get into so the question is to not board a dashed bus dashed bus means the options are stopped or moving if you board into the stop bus is okay you will get into the bus you will get your tickets you will be easily able to settle down there but what will happen just imagine if you try to board into the moving bus again you will meet an accident isn't it so either you will fall down badly and you will be crushed crashed by the bus or you will harm badly to any of your parts of the body so according to me moving should be the correct option let us check what is the correct answer the correct answer is moving so students i want you first to repeat the sentence after me do not board a moving bus now repeat the sentence one more time students do not board a dash bus answer is moving bus answer is moving bus so you should not board the moving bus what happens if you try to do so you may fall down you may be crashed by the bus you may be crashed by the vehicles coming from the back side you never know what will happen so this is very much important you should understand you should explain your friends also sometimes the school bus is there 
school rickshaw are there school auto rickshaws are there and you try to climb it when when it is moving you you consider it as a is a joke you you ju- you are just you know enjoying your life by that doing that but no that is not wa- the correct way to enjoy even you should not climb down when it is moving if if you are in a hurry you find your home and you just jump from the bus and the moving auto rickshaw that will again cause the serious injury and harm so you never know what mistakes you make like this so this is it and thank you for watching the video and hope you enjoyed even this video because this video contained many things which were in your textbook even the things which were not even in your textbook extra knowledge and this the format i hope you enjoyed this format because you were having to ta- to ta- the time to guess the answers you were having the correct answers in front of you i will bring more such videos for you and i hope that you will enjoy that too for now goodbye stay safe stay home take care of yourselves